Breaking news now on KCAL 9 News at 8. Stu Madell is live in Sky 9 over a pursuit that's been going on for a while, Stu. Uh, that's right. Extremely dangerous and dangerous in so many different levels. The uh, This guy driving extremely reckless. That Honda that he's driving starting to, to fail. Seeing it sparks coming out the front wheels. All four tires still on it. No spike strips have been deployed, but the brakes are starting to give up a little bit on this vehicle. Uh, coming back out, to, as I understand, back to Lancashire, northbound Lancashire, North Hollywood area. That's where we are. But not only this dangerous driving and the public basically the ones that, uh, that that I'm worried for, but the person inside this vehicle, a wanted homicide suspect, and possibly armed. LAPD, they've got their hands full. This is, like you said, been going on for some time. We've been in Burbank, uh, we've been through the city of Burbank, we've been on the 5 freeway, we've been off the 5 freeway, but North Hollywood seems to be the area that he prefers the most. We're right in the North Hollywood area, but we're right by Burbank Airport, which has been making it difficult for the LAPD helicopter along with us. Right now, though, this Honda Accord with it with it used to have three, now has two suspects in it because at one point he lost control of the car. One of the persons in the back jumped out and ran. That was Laurel Canyon to Hart right there, so North Hollywood for sure, but continues on. Our helicopter being held right now because of uh, air traffic in the Burbank area. We don't want to hold up the folks in the uh, paying folks in those passenger jets. And so they've got the right of way. We're going to be waiting here for a minute, but we're going to keep this shot the best we can. This guy's been looking for a spot to bail. This looks like where it's going to be. Making his way onto the park. Nope, couldn't make it. There goes the driver. Going to be running into the park. LAPD on the ground. I just got word from Timmy, my pilot, today that they're going to start letting us out. We got an eye on him. He's got to run. But there's nothing to hide out here. This is a wide open area. LAPD, they might actually take their cars. And then now it might be a little tough for the cars. But this is a bridge taking him over the 170 freeway from that park, continuing to run. You've got to think, he's got to start running out of energy. It looks like he's slowing down. LAPD, their helicopter, can see him as well. I'm hoping that he's be able to put the light on him. And, and they're talking about they're going to be bringing uh, other units into the uh, other side of the park out here, running down that, that, that embankment there, so that uh, the, the the passage of uh, the pedestrian way. What a crazy pursuit. There's that light. They finally got close enough to light him up. We got to wonder, though, he might be able to run under some trees, mm -hmm. but uh, and see Stu, where he can hide. Stu, you said three people were in the car at one point. We don't know if it was the driver wanted for a felony murder. We know one person in the car was considered armed and dangerous. These are possibly gang members here who have been on the run for at least the last half hour, maybe longer, and a lot of close calls. Even patrol cars almost ran into the suspect at one point. So we have no idea who they're chasing right now, right? The driver, they kind of, two of them just went in different directions. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, this is the driver for sure. Chances are this is going to be the person that they want. Yeah. Now, you know, when they said they, they, maybe there's more than one, maybe they're known to hang out together, all that LAPD will probably sort out later on. But this is definitely the driver, and you can see down there, it's a fenced area. There's some trees right there. It's right by the 170 freeway. Officers from LAPD down there on the ground right now, they're going to start doing their search. They're going to be looking at helicopter. One of the reasons they might have shut off, might have, I'm going to try to get confirmation on that is he might have tried to go to FLIR, uh, that infrared, but uh, not 100% on that. These guys down there, they're continuing to run. I didn't see him along that fence line, but they might have some information that he's in that area down there. Of who the uh, really the, the, the suspect they wanted the most, well, they want that driver for sure. Uh, and, but is he the wanted suspect, the, 180, uh, the homicide suspect? They never really said the driver is. They just said... Uh, somebody in that vehicle. One of the persons uh, got out the back of that vehicle earlier on in that pursuit. And then, of course, you saw the driver jump out. We haven't seen uh, the other passenger. I'm wondering if that person's in custody. But LAPD is starting to get their ground units in place. This might turn into a perimeter out here in the North Hollywood area. And we've seen this guy blow through a few lights, mm -hmm. have quite a few close calls, but no actual collisions. Now we just know at least one of them wanted for murder. So they don't want to lose this guy for sure. S okay, thank oh, you. There he is. Oh. There he is. Oh. Doing a carjacking. people running. Doing a, no, two, he's, get, he's, oh. getting a, he's doing a carjacking. Oh. 
Wow. He, he, okay. just, he just carjacked that car. Wow, this is pretty intense. We what? have a murder suspect, possibly, who just carjacked somebody. It doesn't look like anybody is injured right now, but there he goes, getting behind the wheel yep, of another vehicle. This started off with three suspected gang members in a vehicle. At one point, one suspect Whoa! bailed. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Goodness. Okay. There you go. And, Head on and, collision you know, with when, a when police they start, car. When they start, when they start getting to this type of situation, mm -hmm. this is when the, you know, when the, 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 uh, the more force will start being shown. Uh, you can see all the hands up inside that vehicle, but with this type of aggression and that type of want, officers are going to be on very heightened alert out there. Staying a little bit wider because we don't want to show anything sure. like that on television. Uh, but uh, you can see the hands up. If I see that door open, I'll push in a little bit more. But obviously, you can see very tense moments out here. That uh, suspect carjacking a vehicle. Don't know if it was just bodily force. That's the term that law enforcement uses, meaning you know maybe he didn't have a gun maybe he just grabbed the guy and threw him out we got we saw that picture a little bit later uh, but you can see hands up and both hands out the window right now officers still got their weapons out they're not going to slow this thing or let let their guard down until that guy's got his cuffs on him but you saw that aggression once once this thing turned and another car was uh, another person was carjacked officers from LAPD taking that taking that step to bring this to an end you can see uh, They've got their guns drawn, hands are out, but right now this is going to be a little bit more than just the felony stops we've seen. There's going to be a lot of commands given, a lot of, a lot of talk, and a lot of things to do to get this guy out of that car. Hopefully it will still end peacefully, but what a wild ride for sure. A homicide suspect now starting to open the door probably going to be going into custody here in just a moment. Stu, does it look like this guy is in the car alone, or do you think there's any more people in the car with him? No, it actually looked like there was a passenger, and he saw that. The other mm -hmm. door was open. He pulled the driver out and ran around the other side and got in the passenger side. Uh, very, very bizarre move. He was probably just, you know, you know that wasn't planned. Uh, but he saw that opportunity, he took it, and uh, br you know, bringing it to a crashing end out here, LAPD, uh, maybe intentionally, maybe not intentionally, but blocking that vehicle uh, as, he, uh, as it came to an end out here. LAPD taking this guy into custody. He's on the ground. Uh, you can see the cuffs going on him. And of course, they're gonna check that vehicle. I'm still working on that, that, the passenger. I don't know if the passenger is in custody or the person that jumped out the back of the vehicle earlier on in the pursuit, but definitely the driver now in custody, and this is the guy they definitely wanted to get. Definitely a surprise ending there, Stu. We weren't expecting this, uh, this second well, plus, incident. police always pursue with so many vehicles. You wonder why they have so many involved. They had so many in following that there was one side of the chase that they were pursuing him, but clearly made some sort of perimeter where they, uh, the other group was able to close in and catch him when he was leaving. Who knew he was going to carjack somebody, but they were right there. And it looks like we're going to go yeah. ahead and wrap this up again. Possibly a gang member, possibly wanted for murder, but you can see uh, the suspected carjacker, the guy who took uh, police on a pursuit, now in custody. Thank you, Stu.